Hey everyone, it's Diana again, and if you watched my previous video, then you know that I just got through doing a get ready with me, and now I wanted to do a get excited for buying from indigenous artists. Jewelry. Jewelry artists. I basically wanted to sort of just have fun with this video, and I wanted to like maybe do a little the few outfits that I do have. I wanted to do like some outfit changes and show off and talk about some of my jewelry that I have with me. It's not all my jewelry because a lot of it is still in Connecticut, but um, I wanted to show some of it at least. Hopefully it'll encourage some of you to, to buy some jewelry. You want to buy it for somebody, but that's really the goal is like getting excited for that. So first thing I'm going to talk about or I'm going to show is going to be a piece from Nanaba Beck and um, her piece, you can look her up, I will put her information below, but her piece, this was from, from her Shema collection. She and I really connected over this piece. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, it does have all of the, the stones from the Four Sacred Mountains. If you're Navajo, she is a Navajo jewelry designer. It's just a, such a statement piece. I want to say it was like just one of the iconic pieces from her Shema line. It reminded me of my mother and for her it was obviously Shema means mother and so for her it was also a really special piece. I can't even tell you what is my favorite part of that piece because there's so much. There's the, just the the way it looks but the, all of the inclusion of the stones, the big piece of shell that's on there, the pearl, um, and I decided to pair it with some pearl earrings to kind of complement that. I really like to wear this piece when I'm doing really, really special occasions at work or just in life in general. I, and, or if I'm thinking of my mom, I like to wear this piece. Second item I want to talk about is from Marvin Slim. So Marvin Slim is one of my absolute favorite artists as well. and. Um, I have purchased a lot of his rings. You'll see that I'm wearing some right now while I'm talking about through this video. You've seen some of these in my other videos. I bought, this was my first one I bought. It's a smaller piece. You'll see that I am wearing it on my ring finger. It doesn't mean I'm married. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> but I like to wear it on this finger. That's just my personal preference. But this piece is by Marvin Slim. And so I wore his rings with the necklace and um, he has a website if you're willing to, if you want to go check it out, I'll be linking everyone's information down below. But this necklace was a gift on my birthday last year and I've never seen, I think the reason why I really like a lot of the pieces that I do have is because I've never seen them anywhere else. Um, and so that's what I really found to be just really important to me when I go shopping for jewelry. Anyway, so check out Marvin's work if you ever get a chance. I'm actually checking out a few of his stuff right now that I'm in the process of hopefully buying and hopefully he works out a payment plan with me. <laughs> but nonetheless, good stuff. The next one, I actually don't know the name of the artist. I bought the necklace from Tuba City Flea Market and I bought the earrings from Northern Arizona Museum in Flagstaff, Arizona. They have they have periodic fairs called like uh, like I think it's called like Zuni. They have one that's called like Zuni Fair or something like that, and then like Hopi, and then they have one for Navajo. And I check out I check those out periodically because they have a lot of good vendors there, um, like native artists and stuff. I actually got those earrings that I'm wearing, and I just love them. First of all, white goes with everything. And I loved how they have the designs on the sides. Um, it does look like there's a name here on the back. I had their business card, but I think it's in Connecticut. It says RM and then it says R Monty. So if anyone happens to know who the artists are and know their contact information or anything like that, this is who created these. And these are probably one of my favorite earrings. Um, I love wearing these just because they can really just go with anything. The next one that I'm going to be showing is my necklace. I got that also from Tuba City Fair. <laughs> I get a lot of my, my jewelry from uh, Tuba City Flea Market, my bad. Tuba City Flea Market is where I got it from. 
And these earrings, I actually want to say, you know, I think I bought these at an ACES conference. I think. I think it was the one that was in Minneapolis a couple years ago. And if you ever go to, you know, certain conferences, um, they will have like vendors and stuff. And so these are just, oh, they're beautiful, right? They're just never big enough. Like you always want them bigger. And I love Shell. And so these are just, oh, I love them so much. My next outfit, I struggle with finding earrings with necklaces that are so bold because if I go really bold in one way, I try to go smaller in the next. And so I just decided to kind of like show off, like I have my turquoise, my 1491 shirt, and that was really it. <laughs> and I can't even remember where I got the necklace from. I think I got the necklace from a powwow that I went to, but I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. And if I go big with that one, I actually just don't know what to do with my earrings sometimes, but I wanted to show it anyway, just like a casual look. And then the last one is the gift I bought for myself for me finishing my doctorate. So if you didn't know already, um, I guess I'm officially Dr. Onko Angide. This jewelry set by a Kaiwa woman. Her name is Carrie Tombi and her company is Atombi Metals. So I'll link her stuff down below as well. I can't remember the official name for these for the earrings and the necklace. I want to say Mon Montan, but I saw this set and I already knew I wanted the earrings and I wanted the necklace and I just wanted it to kind of be like my first official like set of jewelry that I'm buying myself because I worked really hard um, in school and wanted it to be a gift to myself. That is um, my last jewelry piece. I just really wanted to kind of highlight some of the jewelry that I have. I hope it gets you really excited. Actually, I would love for other women to do videos like this, where it's like, just model your jewelry. Just show it off. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> We're staying inside, staying safe. And just have fun. Like, play a little bit of dress up. Tell us who, where you got your jewelry from. Um, things like that. I just had a lot of fun. I really wanted to do this video. I hope you all check out these artists. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought about it, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.